Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to enable core isolation. So whenever you try to enable memory integrity uh, in Windows security, and if you are receiving this error, which says incompatible drivers. So because of incompatible drivers, if you are unable to enable core isolation, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy the first command and then type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now this will obtain all the third party drivers. Now over here you can see these are the third party drivers. You will see the name, published name, original file name, etc. Now you have to go ahead and delete the driver which is giving you the problem. Now please note that the running this command would remove the device driver and you might not be able to use that particular device. So reinstalling the driver would help. So after you delete it, you can reinstall the driver if you want. Now copy this command. Now you have to replace this published name with the driver which is giving you the error message. Now for example, in my case it was wdcsam64.csys. Now you have to find that driver. So over here, in your case, the driver name would be different. So whichever driver is giving you the problem, you have to find that driver in the list. Now under the published name, over here you can see the name. For example, this is just an example. So for example, this Apple driver is giving the problem. So in that case, you have to copy the published name. So under the published name for Apple driver, this is the name, published name. So OEM64 INF dot INF. So I will copy this command. Now I have to replace the published name. So it will be OEM64 OEM64 dot INF and after driver there is a space only one space after the published name there is only one space then slash uninstall space slash force so replace the published name now paste this command and this is just an example paste the command over here now hit the enter key now over here you can see driver package uninstalled now restart your computer now after the system restart open windows security and then try to enable core isolation and you should not receive the error message now still you are receiving the error message in that case use auto runs for windows for this copy this command this uh, copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser over here you can see auto runs for windows download auto runs click on it this will download the zip file now go to the download location make a right click on the zip file and then click on extract all extract now once the extract is done now open this auto runs as an administrator. So make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Now click on yes to allow. Now go to the drivers tab on the top over here. You can see drivers tab go over there. Now this will load all the drivers on your computer. Now this process will take some time. So let it load all the drivers. Now once you have the complete list, whichever driver is giving you the problem, you have to find that driver in the list. So for example, this was the driver in my case. 
Now you have to find that driver over here. This, I don't have that driver anymore. I already deleted it, so it's not there. For example, whichever driver is giving you the problem, select that driver. This is just an example. I'm selecting that driver and then make a right click and then click on delete. Now, once you delete it, now restart your computer. Now, after the system restart, enable core isolation and you should not receive this error, error message anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.